amazing gadgets and inventions that completely failed. Muller Sky Car The Muller Sky Car is a flying car with vertical takeoff and landing capability that has been under development by Paul Muller for over 50 years. As of 2023, the M400 has not achieved free flight. The Sky Car is a four seat vehicle that can travel at speeds of up to 491 km an hour and has a range of 1448 km. It is powered by a Wankel engine and has ducted fans for lift and propulsion. The Sky Car is intended to be flyable by anyone who can drive, incorporating automated flight controls. Moller has said that he expects the Sky Car to be certified for commercial use by 2025. However, there are many challenges that need to be overcome before the Sky Car can become a reality, such as safety, regulation, and cost. In 2017, an original prototype of the Moller Sky Car was put up for sale on eBay for $500,000. The vehicle has never flown, but it has been extensively tested on the ground. The auction ended without a buyer. The Muller Sky Car is one of many flying car designs that have been proposed over the years. However, it remains to be seen whether the Sky Car or any other flying car will ever be able to overcome the challenges and become a reality. Elio. The Elio is a three-wheeled, enclosed auto cycle that was designed and marketed by Elio Motors. It was originally planned to be powered by a 0.9-liter three-cylinder engine and get up to 84 miles per hour on the highway. However, in 2021, the company announced that it would be pivoting to an electric version of the car. The Elio is intended to be a low-cost, fuel-efficient vehicle for commuting and short trips. It has a top speed of 100 miles per hour and a range of 150 miles. The electric version is expected to have a range of 100 miles. Elio Motors has yet to deliver a production car. The company has faced a number of challenges, including delays in development, production and financing. In 2019, the company was fined $7.5 million for failing to create promised jobs in Louisiana. As of September 2023, it is unclear if or when the Elio will be produced. The company has said that production of the electric version is expected to begin in 2022, but it is possible that this date could be delayed. Arcade Arcade was a proposed space telescope that was crowdfunded on Kickstarter in 2013. The goal of the project was to create a publicly accessible space telescope that would allow anyone to take pictures of space or have their photo displayed above the Earth. The telescope was to be called the Arcade 100, and it was designed to be small and affordable, so that it could be launched into space by a commercial rocket. The Arcade project was successful in raising over $1.5 million on Kickstarter, but it ultimately failed to launch. The company behind the project, Planetary Resources, encountered a number of challenges, including technical difficulties and a lack of funding. In 2016, Planetary Resources announced that it was cancelling the Arcade project and refunding all of the money that had been raised. While the Arcade project did not succeed, it did raise awareness of the potential for public access to space telescopes. In the years since the project was cancelled, there have been a number of other projects that have attempted to make space telescope more accessible to the public. These projects include the Planet Labs Dove constellation, which consists of hundreds of small satellites that can be used to take pictures of Earth, and the Raspberry Pi telescope, which is a low-cost telescope that can be built and operated by anyone. Hando 
The Handel Hoverboard 2.0 is a magnetic levitation hoverboard developed by Arxpax. It is a more advanced version of the original Handel Hoverboard, which was released in 2015. The 2.0 model has a number of improvements, including a more skateboard-like design inspired by Tony Hawk's input, a larger and more energy-dense battery pack which provides longer runtime, more powerful and efficient hover engines, and a quieter operation. The Handel Hoverboard 2.0 works by using four disc-shaped hover engines to create a magnetic field that pushes against the ground, levitating the board off the surface. The board can only hover over conductive surfaces, such as copper or steel. The Handel Hoverboard 2.0 is not available for purchase, but Arxpax is accepting reservations for a limited number of boards. The expected price is $10,000. Tico 3D Printer Tico 3D Printer is a Delta-style 3D printer that was originally launched on Kickstarter in 2016. It is known for its low price point, easy assembly and small footprint. The printer is made from a single piece of injection molded plastic, which makes it lightweight and durable. It also features a passive cooled hot end, which helps to reduce noise and power consumption. The Tico 3D printer is a good option for beginners and hobbyists. It is easy to set up and use, and it offers good print quality for the price. However, it is not as powerful or versatile as some other 3D printers on the market. Triton The Triton artificial gills are a hoax. They were a product that was crowdfunded on Indiegogo in 2016, and they claim to allow users to breathe underwater for up to 45 minutes. However, the claims made by the creators of the Triton artificial gills were not scientifically sound, and the devices themselves were never actually built. The Triton artificial gills were supposed to work by extracting oxygen from water. However, this is a very energy-intensive process, and it would require a very large and complex device to be able to do it efficiently enough to sustain human breathing. The Triton artificial gills were simply too small to be able to do this. In addition, the Triton artificial gills were not designed to be able to filter out harmful pollutants from the water. This means that if someone had actually used the Triton artificial gills, they would have been at risk of poisoning themselves with the chemicals and bacteria in the water. The Triton artificial gills were a scam, and they should not be confused with real artificial gills that are currently being developed by scientists. Real artificial gills are still in the early stages of development, but they have the potential to revolutionize underwater exploration. The cost of the Triton artificial gills was never actually announced, but it is likely that they would have been very expensive. The materials and technology required to build a device that could extract oxygen from water efficiently would be very costly.